Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a little uh, review video on this uh, Ender 3 flexible build plate. It's a double-sided printing platform that the good folks at MeFine have sent to me to try out. Uh, it's from Creality, so uh, let's open it up and take a look at it here. some scissors here and cut this open okay this is a um, double-sided plate just like they said it has a smooth side here uh, this is uh, a PEI sheet. So you've got a smooth side that you can use, and then you also have the textured sides, which uh, looks like this is very much like what comes stock on. Uh, it also comes with the magnetic base that you can uh, peel this off and stick it to your bed, and then that way you can just pull this off real easy, easily. Uh, I am not going to install this to start with. I might uh, eventually, but just to try it out, just I want to make sure it works uh, well first before I uh, go to the trouble of sticking it on. And then if it doesn't, I have to try to figure out a way to get that off. But I'm very happy with the way the uh, stock Ender 3 bill plate works. So don't want to mess that up. Uh, but anyway, I will be running several little projects uh, some on the smooth side here and some on the textured side. I'm really uh, anxious to see how that how that smooth side works. Uh, but anyway, I'll be back in a little bit after I've run uh, several things and uh, give you my final thoughts on this. Okay, I'm back and I've ran a few test parts. So let's take a look at those now and I'll give you my comments on those. Okay, the first part I ran here was this little funnel and I ran this on the textured side and it came out fine. No big issues there, just like I expected. And then I found this little parts tray uh, that had a flat bottom. So I did this also, this first one on the textured side and it worked just fine, just like I would expect. And then I was anxious to try the smooth side. So this is the first parts tray that I ran with the smooth side. And it looks good from the inside, but when you flip it over, you can see how the, some of the corners had pulled up a little bit. So I started trying to tweak it and see if I could get a perfectly flat bottom. So here's the second one that I ran on the smooth side. Again, when you flip it over, you can see that the corners, this one may be a little bit better than the first, but it's still pulling up on the corners. Here again is the third one that I tried with the smooth side. Uh, again, still trying to tweak some temperatures and things. And this one didn't look too bad, had just a little bit around the edges. Um, and then here is the fourth one. Uh, again, these all look great on the inside and they're usable parts. Uh, they all stack just like they're supposed to. But again, when I flip it over, you can see just couldn't get the bottom to stick to that smooth side. And here's the fifth and final one that I ran and uh, had the same, same issue with this. After five tries, I just could not get it to stick to the bottom. Okay, now I know there's probably somebody out there typing in the comments right this very moment saying, hey, Dave, you dumb knucklehead. You know, all you got to do is put a little hairspray or a glue stick or something like that, and you can probably get those corners to uh, to stick down and not, uh, not pull up like that. But uh, I got to say that these stock Ender 3 PEI sheets that have the textured surface 
have really spoiled me because I do not like using hairspray or glue sticks or any of that mess. And I love these things because you can simply just get the bed nice and level and hit them and go every time. And then, you know, every so often I will clean them off with a little uh, alcohol and just keep right on going. No mess, no fuss. So as saying that now, I do like this textured side. I think this would be a great addition, especially if you uh, want to put the magnetic sheet on there, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, and then you can just real easily pull this off, uh, twist it to get it off, and then then set it right back down. However, I am obviously from this video, you can probably tell I'm not a fan of the smooth side. Uh, if you have, you know, if you have to use hairspray or glue or something like that, then I don't care about how smooth it makes the bottom of the part. And I guess I didn't really mention that, but when I when I met ran these, even though it did pull up on the corners right in the center, it is super smooth and a great finish. But that's just not a big deal to the stuff I run. I would rather have the part uh, look halfway decent all the way around and not uh, not just some of it look good. So. I would recommend this, uh, like I said, if you want to use it as this, and I'm sure if you're used to using hairspray and glue sticks and all that, then you probably like this side as well too. It's just, that side is just not for me. So that's going to do it for this video. If you want to check one of these out, I have a link that uh, MeFine has sent me and it'll be down below in the description. Go check them out. In fact, I think they're on sale right now at Amazon when I looked at that link. Uh, earlier i think they're uh on sale so go check them out if you want one but anyway thank you for watching if you've just uh started watching this channel and you know haven't subscribed already please think about subscribing and then make sure you hit the little bell so you get a notification every time i upload a new video and until the next one thank you very much for watching